Hi there guys, here's Olya and my blog about Ukraine. I bet a lot of followers love my video, but I think you're a little fed up with my face because I always tell you about something and you're interested to listen to some other's opinion from uh, Ukraine, about Ukraine, Ukrainian people and other things related to Ukraine. That's why in this video I decided to make interview with beautiful, beautiful girl from Africa, which lives in Ukraine, and she will give answer on very popular questions that you always ask me. This girl's her name is Lister, and okay, so and now I'm talking exactly to Lister. Where are you from, and um, how long you live in Ukraine? And tell us a little bit about yourself. Hi, my name is Lister. I'm from Zimbabwe. I've lived in Ukraine for about. Three, I don't know. I've lived in Ukraine since 2011, and then late uh, 2013 I left for a bit and then came back again. So I've been in Ukraine since 2011. That's basically what I can say. And I am from Zimbabwe. Zimbabwe is a Southern African country, just above South Africa. That's where you can find Zimbabwe. Okay, the other very, very interesting questions. Is it hard to black people, and especially for black women, live in Ukraine? How you feel? Uh, I would say no, because um, I feel like women are treated with respect, no matter where you come from, no matter your race or how you look like they just treat you with respect and depending on how you present yourself to the ukrainians but women basically it's i don't think it's hard for a black woman to live in ukraine but on the other hand if you can't speak the language if you cannot read the language then it's a bit hard for you to live in Ukraine because everything, almost everything is written in Ukraine, the food, the toiletries, everything and you have to learn to know a little bit of the language at least to communicate and to find your way around the places and everything. Okay, there are another very popular question. Are Ukrainians racist? Do you feel racism in Ukraine? Ukrainians uh well depending okay let's talk about the first time i came in ukraine um i didn't really experience a lot of racism i guess maybe because it's uh, because of the places that i go to the places that i hang out i don't i've never experienced i have experienced but just a little bit it just depends on the person that you bump into on that day that's the only thing like it depends on how they're feeling towards you if they're just pissed off you feel like you're being treated in a racist way I don't know everybody has their bad day but not all of them are racist it just depends on where you are the people that you bump into and where you stay yeah how many people speak English in Ukraine what is your experience as of nowadays, I would say most of them, they can speak, but most of them, some of them, they're just not confident. Like, if you try to communicate with them in English, say, if I get into a shop and I ask a question and say, do you speak in, can you, do you speak English? And then they'll tell you, no, but I've said it in English, you know, and then when you ask, you continue to have a conversation with them in English, that's when they'll be like, oh, okay, this is what you're supposed to do, blah, blah, blah. So I feel like they're not confident enough, but they can speak like most people now after the 2012 Euro World Cup, I think something that soccer thing that happened in 2012, most of them started to like started wanting to speak English. So they'll come and approach ask the foreigners and just want to have a conversation with you just like I would have a conversation with a with a Ukrainian person to to perfect my Russian or Ukrainian I speak Russian Ukrainian is a bit tough I don't know for me maybe because I didn't learn it so yeah um, almost everyone speaks English but they're just not confident um, 
especially people of our generation. Okay, then very <laughs> popular question nowadays. Uh, there is war in Ukraine and you live in Kharkiv. Kharkiv is very very close to war area. And tell me, tell us your experience. Do you feel war in Ukraine? Do you hear some bomb and something else? And is it safe uh, to live in Ukraine, to live in Kharkiv, to live and study there? And tell your opinion about for free students. No, I don't. I've never experienced it. And the time it was heated in my city, I think, I was not here, so I didn't experience any of that. Um, I was actually surprised to know that I stay close to where the war is happening, but I've never experienced anything, nothing. I would be lying if I say um, I had bombs and attacks and all that. But the people who were here around uh, 2014, they said, uh, it was quite crazy, like the students and everything, but yeah, it's, it's, I don't, I don't experience it. I've never experienced it anyways. Okay, then let's speak about some positive things. Uh, what impressed you in Ukraine? Uh, everything impresses me in Ukraine. The infrastructure, the, the people, the, um, Everybody in Ukraine is interesting like sometimes when you have a conversation with them You get to understand a lot of things that you didn't know uh, people actually Think about Africa in this world like for example back in the day um, This I used this I used to know this girl and she used to think that Africa is one country she used to think, and she would ask me, do you know people from Nigeria? And I'm like, no, I've never been to Nigeria. She's like, how come? But you come from the same country. I'm like, no, Africa is, has different countries. Southern Africa, Eastern Africa, all that. And you try to explain to them. And the environment, especially in the summer, I love I love it in the summer. It's so amazing. Like the, the greenery, everything is just beautiful. The buildings, they're interesting. Everything is interesting in Ukraine. So I would say that that's what impresses me because I feel like it's a good way. It was a good way for me to just know other parts of the world, like this part of the world and how, how people live and everything. So everything impresses me because every day I learn something new. Every day I, I see something different. And the last one question is how you can describe Ukrainian people? Like I said, they're interesting people. Sometimes when, like, if they're staring at you, if you have a, co a conversation with them, you just don't know what they're thinking. They're quite interesting people. They stare quite a lot, maybe because we're black, but like, everybody knows black people exist in the world at this point, right? But I guess they're interested. Like, there's one time when I used to have a mood, they they used to like want to touch your hair like oh my god and don't want to take a picture with you in the park if you go to the park or anywhere like they're, they're quite interesting people yeah interesting people but they're nice like I like most of the ones that I know that I've had conversations with I like them they're nice people so that's it for my uh, interview I don't know uh, thank you, Olga, for giving me this opportunity. Thank you so much for this interview. I hope your um, your answers was very helpful for a lot of people who think about studying in Ukraine but afraid because of war, because of racism, because of other things. And uh, I'm happy that you probably give them very great answer and your opinion. And I want to tell now for my followers uh, guys, if you have any other questions to Lister, uh, to she like uh, a, f a foreign student, like black girl who lives in Ukraine, or like just foreigners who live in Ukraine, please uh, let them in the comments, and uh, we'll make another great video with her, and she will answer questions. Um, and uh, also, I want to tell you, you can contact Lister directly. She has her own YouTube channel, and I also leave link in the description of this video, so you can contact personal here, or also left your like questions in the, our comments. 
I uh, hope you like with this video and uh, I hope create new video with Lister again. Thank you so much, waiting for your opinion. Bye!